Hey, 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 Aquarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, October 17th to the 18th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. Oh, let's see what's up for Aquarius and your energy. Wow. Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is fire energy. Here is Leo Sagittarius. Aces are all about new beginnings. And this is a new passionate beginning in love, an adventure. Ten of Swords with that. Tens are also about endings and beginnings. And that's what I'm feeling you're doing, ending something and beginning something new. So the Two of Wands is coming towards you, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. They don't know they're coming towards you. And get another card. Tell me more. Page of Swords. Interesting. They don't know they're coming towards you, but they have a message for you. Oh. Okay, so when you meet this person, they'll have come to you for one thing, possibly to bring you a message with the Page of Swords here. Um, but it, it, it's the intent isn't romantic at first. It's just to relay a message to you, to deliver something to you. Maybe somebody asked them to bring you something or... I don't know, but this is how you meet them, and it begins from there. So it's like, they're not seeking you out, you're not seeking them out, it's fate, you know? Okay, so how are you going to respond? The Empress, Aquarius. Taurus Libra energy, the Empress is the queen of all queens. She knows how to make things grow. She knows how to nurture, to appreciate. She's very intuitive. You're going to like this person. They're going to bring out a very unique version of you that will even surprise you. It's sort of this regal version, right? This empress. It's like the empress you did not know existed within. Whether or not you're a male or female, it does not matter. How they change your energy when they walk into your life. The chariots. You become more balanced. This is a card of cancer. I feel that your nurturing side emerges more, Aquarius. You're more in touch with this nurturing side. The balance of the female, masculine, and feminine energy is stronger. Okay, so let's see how this person responds to your another ten, ten of wands. And they let go. Oh, yeah. They let go of some burdens that they've had when they meet you because they know that they, they do. Like, they want to get this going. They want to see where this goes, this relationship. So they let go of what no longer serves them, the Eight of Cups. They walk away from something. I don't feel they were in a relationship, but I feel like... It's like they, they you know, they were in a relationship, broke up. This person was still on their mind, but they finally let go. They let go of the idea of, like, a reconciliation with this other person. That's what I'm feeling. So how do you respond to this? The Queen of Swords. You do the same. You cut people, things out of your life that no longer serve you. It's like you meet and you both know instinctively, chop, 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 chop. I'm free. To be me, and you open up your space for each other to come into. Okay, let's see what's ahead in the future. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Aquarius. Ten of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. This is happy family life, 
happy life. Can't get any better than the Ten of Cups, really. Okay. Not unless you had the Ten of Pentacles with it. But if I had my choice between one or the other, I'd always choose the Ten of Cups. It's emotional fulfillment. Ten of Pentacles is comfortable in your material possessions, but what good are material possessions if you're not happy emotionally speaking? Five of Wands. This is in your future. You guys let go in the Seven of Wands. You see the Five of Wands and the Seven of Wands. You let go of the need to be defensive in relationship to love. But at the same time with the Seven of Wands, it's like you both are fighting for this relationship or will fight. It's not like you need to fight, but it's like it's something that you'll stand up for. Knight of Cups. And with this relationship, you're going to keep things alive. If things are always going to be fresh. It's You both know that that's a necessity, that a relationship needs work, needs to be, you know, fresh all the time. So you're always going to be inserting these new things, these um, unique and creative things I'm seeing with this Knight of Cups. Very creative, very nurturing. And this will keep an energy within this relationship that's fresh, that's youthful, and that's fun. Okay, one more card. One more. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yep, your cup overfloweth, both of you, with love. You'll be planting seeds for the future. Well, Aquarius, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, subscribe. If you already haven't, you have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.